Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitzwong TV here, aka Glorn33, back with another quick reaction for you guys today. And we are going to be reacting to the Sasha Banks and Bailey contract signing from SmackDown earlier tonight. Man, uh, I don't know. I'm a little 50 50 on it, and it's not for really anything bad. It's because I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't get enough time. All right, first off, tonight was the SmackDown season premiere, and they advertised all these big things. They advertised, you know, Roman versus Braun for the Universal Championship, the Street Profits defending against Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. They also had, you know, the New Day's farewell match, uh, since we know. Big E's going to be on SmackDown, and the New Day, Xavier, and Kofi are going to be on Raw. They also uh, talked about, you know, Lars Sullivan, uh, Lars Sullivan versus Jeff Hardy, and uh, Daniel Bryan making his return to SmackDown after the last couple months, after he had his second child. But they didn't announce anything with Sasha and Bayley before the show. And I'm like, this is the biggest feud in the company right now. And you didn't announce that there was going to be a contract signing. They didn't announce that there was going to be a contract signing between Sasha and Bailey until about halfway through the show, which did bother me. I'm like, I would have, even though I said last week that I expected a contract signing this week, still, I'm a little bit disappointed that they waited this long to give it to us. But either way, you know, it's a little bit of a gripe. A couple of other things before we get into the contract signing. All right. One, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because I have a bunch for you guys in the next week. You guys know next week is Hell in a Cell week. It's going to be crazy crazy we have the raw review on monday i have the hell in a cell preview show it's gonna most likely be wednesday or thursday depending on my schedule we have tons of anime content and then that weekend we have whatever happens between sasha and bailey on smackdown we have the hell in a cell live reaction stream which is gonna be crazy if you guys can watch hell in a cell with me live sasha and bailey that's gonna be a crazy reaction plus we have the review right here on the podcast after the show so it is going to be wild so make sure you guys subscribe also a couple other things before we get into the contract signing if you guys saw smackdown has a new opening has a huge new opening they updated since the draft sasha is still on it he's actually featured twice on the intro which i kind of like you know smackdown knows that sasha is you know one of their biggest stars and probably their biggest woman star uh, also, if you guys saw, at the opening of the show, they had Triple H and Stephanie McMahon open. They had all the SmackDown roster uh, at the entranceway. If you guys saw, they had Sasha and Bailey on opposite sides. So you guys know those two don't like each other per storyline. So I kind of like, you know, those little attention to details. Plus, Sasha had another fire outfit, man. She had the heels going with this pink uh, outfit. Oh, so fired. I, I don't understand, you know, how she continues to keep blessing us with these outfits every single week. I have no idea how she gets them, man. Uh, but I loved it. Another thing, another thing, I don't know if you guys saw, but they were heavily advertising Bianca Belair. They had a video package for Bianca Belair, which talked about... Uh, or was more of a uh, introduction for people who hadn't seen her on Monday Night Raw. And the background track that they used was from NF's The Search album. NF's one of my favorite personal rappers, so I kind of liked how they used one of his tracks for that video package. Plus, throughout the night, Daniel Bryan, uh, Corey Graves, and others, they were mentioning how Bianca's going to be a huge star. Corey Graves also said that, you know, by this time next year, Bianca would have already been a at least one-time SmackDown Women's Champion. And, you know, I would love to say that he would be correct, but I am, you know, I love Bianca Belair, but I am a pro Sasha Banks fan. And it's time for Sasha to get her long reign as SmackDown Women's Champion. So, I don't know, but just wanted to mention those two things because who I cannot wait for a Sasha and Bianca feud. But we gotta get through this Bailey one first. Uh my boy Anthony texted me and he told me that he has one of two predictions for Sasha. He said either Sasha wins the title at Hell in a Cell and loses it at WrestleMania, would 
that would be Sasha's sixth straight WrestleMania loss. Because remember, Sasha's never won a match at WrestleMania, which mind boggles me. But also, he said if Sasha doesn't win at Hell in a Cell, they're going to make us wait till WrestleMania. So that thing's been on my mind even now with me recording this. But either way, all right, let's get into the contract signing. So... Like I said, Sasha came out, and it's so good to see Sasha, you know, getting a full entrance now. Because, you know, when she was with Bailey, of course, it was always uh, her getting cut off for Bailey's theme song. But seeing Sasha's entrance with the pyro, she's really being treated as a star now, which is the way she always should have been. So Bailey came out, and what have I been saying for weeks, guys? Sasha must be booked as a bad ass baby face no ands if buts no all right and what they've been doing these last couple weeks with sasha has been great she would not take her eyes off of bailey as bailey entered the ring and you could tell that intensity was there so they had adam pierce you guys know i'm not a big fan of adam pierce but he was the guy conducting this contract signing he had sasha uh you know, sign first. I was disappointed. This was one of my only negatives with this. My two negatives is I wish the contract signing was a little bit longer. And second, Sasha did not have the stamp. You guys know how much I love Sasha using the stamp. It's one of her best things. You know, when she was back, when she was down in NXT, she would always use a stamp for the contract signings. We saw her bring it back against Asuka. I don't know if, you know, she didn't get told they were doing a contract signing until uh, once she got to the arena or something like that. So maybe so she just didn't have the stamp on hand. But, you know, we had to see Sasha sign the contract with the pen. So shame on you, WWE. You should have, you know, told Sasha in advance so she could have brought the stamp with her to the arena. Either way. Sasha signed the contract right away, and she said she had been waiting a long time for this moment, just like the rest of us. We've been waiting years for the Sasha Banks and Bailey feud. So Bailey said, "So have I," and you know Bailey reiterated. And Sasha and Bailey in this contract signing, it wasn't super long, but it was fire. I wish it went a little bit longer, but they both both women said things we have heard each other say in the last couple weeks, right? Bailey said that the main reason, the main reason why she uh, turned on Sasha is she believed Sasha was going to do it before. You know, she knew the way Sasha was always looking at the SmackDown Women's Championship. Sasha was just waiting for the right moment to turn on her. That was Bailey's main thing, you know, but. Bailey also said that she wants to get this situation with Sasha done and out of the way so she can move on and continue being the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion of all time. Which, in fact, did get Bailey number one on PWI's uh, top 100 women uh, wrestlers in the world for the year. Which, I don't have a problem with Bailey being number one. I have a problem with Sasha being number five, right? I'm happy that Sasha and Bailey are on the cover, but... Let's be serious. Sasha should be number two uh, right up there with Bailey, not number five, you know, behind Charlotte and Becky, who have been out for most of the year. But that's a different video. Um, but, you know, I had no problem with what Bailey said here. You know, I do kind of don't like how Bailey's kind of trying to dismiss Sasha because we all know Sasha's the most legit th you know, she's the top threat to Bailey's championship reign, right? She's the the best challenger Bailey's had throughout her entire reign. Better than Lacey, Naomi, Carmella, everybody that's come before her. So the fact that Bailey's like kind of in a rush to get rid of Sasha, to move on to bigger things or other things, whatever you want to call it, you know, it bothered me a little bit, but I got I had to remember this is Bailey. She's in character, right? She's supposed to be like this. But then Sasha took the mic. And, you know, uh, Sasha got really mad. She got really mad when Bailey mentioned that she had been the longest rating SmackDown Women's Champion all by herself. Because this is something Sasha's made clear the last couple weeks. And she, I've made it clear on the podcast for months now. Who has been by Bailey's side throughout everything, throughout every title defense, right? Sasha. If you look back at all Bailey's championship defenses, or at least most of them, most of them have involved Sasha getting involved 
you know, or you know, interfering in the match to help Bailey win. Remember when Sasha gave uh Bailey uh the uh what was it called? Uh, the rings, the rings she wears on her hands, the legit boss rings. Remember, Bailey used that against Nikki Cross. Or remember when Sasha attacked Tamina right during their match at Money in the Bank. There's countless I examples, you know. So Sasha reminded Bailey once again that there was be there would be no way that Bailey had been champion for that long, becoming the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion, if it wasn't for Sasha always being by her side and helping her along the way. All right. Another thing that got Sasha pissed is Sasha said, or not Sasha said, Bailey. Uh, Bailey said that you know Bailey wanted to shift the ba the blame of you know the whole betrayal. Bailey saying that Sasha would have betrayed Bailey, you know, before Bailey did. So that's why she betrayed Sasha so quickly. So this got Sasha mad. Is like. Did you really think I was ever going to turn on you? And remember, this is Sasha being the baby face here, right? You're supposed to feel bad for Sasha because Bailey turned on her. And now you want to see Sasha get her revenge. That's the way the story's going. Uh, Sasha said to Bailey, did you really think I was ever going to turn on you? When me, Charlotte, and Becky got caught up to the main roster and you were the one left behind in NXT, right? Who was the first person that called you after uh, that situation played out? Sasha said that was her. You know, Sasha also brought up how uh, she brought up Bailey. When Bailey got called up to the main roster, Sasha was the one who invited Bailey to be her tag team partner. This was what I think this was Battleground 2016. I think it was Sasha and Bailey. Bailey's main roster debut against I think it was Charlotte and Dana Brooke, right? Sasha also talked about how it was her in Bailey's corner when Bailey won her first Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte back at Fastlane 2017. And Sasha also was like, don't even get me started on the tag team championships because I was I was by your side all throughout that and I never turned on you, right? So I was loving this. And then you if you see in Bailey's eyes, Bailey was like, Yeah, you're making some valid points. But she wouldn't she would never say it out loud because Bailey's supposed to be that cocky heel champion, right? So you could tell, you know, it was it hurt Sasha that she had to remind Bailey of all these things. But it was Bailey that put this all into motion. And then, man, oh my gosh, the line of the night, maybe one of the promo lines of the year. I love this. They got to put this on a t-shirt. Sasha says, and I quote, my name is Sasha Banks and my name is greater than your title. So when I take that SmackDown Women's Championship at hell in a cell, it's going to be icing on the cake, man. And that line, you know, you could, you could take the first part of that line and just you know, leave it as is. Sasha saying, my name is greater than your title, which is facts. Because we all know, when you look at the women's division, who's the biggest star in WWE? It's Sasha. You can make an argument for Becky and Charlotte, and Bailey's great, but Sasha's the biggest star out of the women's division. Look what she's doing in pop culture. And we all know the Mandalorian, which is going to be uh, coming out at the end of season two and how it features her and how we're all so excited for that. Like, what else do I have to say? What else does anybody have to say? That's going to go down as one of the promo lines of the year. My name is Sasha Banks, and my name is greater than your title. I wish we had a live crowd. I know we had the Thunderdome, but I wish we had, you know, things were back to normal. You know, because, you know, seeing how the crowd inside the arena re would react to that would be amazing, man. Oh, love that line. I need that line on the t-shirt. My name is Sasha Banks, and I are, and my name is greater than your title. Love it. Love it, right? Because Sasha has been, you know, adamant that, you know, Bailey doesn't get the magazine covers, the interviews, the fame, you know, the focus without Sasha being by her side. So I, I love this. Love this. So... Then Bailey refused to sign the contract. Sasha was like, sign the contract, sign it. Because inside Hell in a Cell, you can't run from me. And you know you can't beat me. You know, so Sasha being that badass baby face. And Bailey refused to sign the contract. She's like, I don't have to do anything. 
I'm the, I'm the champion here, not you. You can't force me to do anything. So Bailey refuses to sign the contract and she actually leaves. And they made this a point to mention. So even though the match has already been made, it can't be made official because Bailey refused to sign the contract. We know we're going to get the match, but but right now Bailey's not signed the contract. I think, well, I think a lot of us know where this is going, right? If you guys remember back in, I think it was 2012, 2011, yeah, around Survivor Series, we had CM Punk versus Alberto Del Rio for the WWE Championship. But the thing about it is, Alberto Del Rio refused to defend that title against Punk. He said Punk did not deserve a title shot. So basically what CM Punk did, John, he went to John Laurinaitis, and John Laurinaitis said, if you could get Alberto Del Rio to agree to the match, you got your WWE title shot. So what CM Punk did, he put uh, Alberto Del Rio in the... Uh, and the con of vice which was his submission finisher at the time and he said i'm not gonna let go until you agree to the match i think that's what we're gonna see with sasha banks and bailey next week right sasha said as bailey was running up the ring sasha said bailey you're a coward and either way you're going to sign that contract so what i think is going to happen next week i think uh, we're going to see Sasha attack Bailey. I don't know. It could be in the ring. It could be backstage. It's going to be interesting. But I think Sasha is going to attack Bailey at some point. She's going to put uh, Bailey into the bank statement and force her to sign the contract. She's, so I could see Sasha being like, I'm not going to let go until you sign the contract. Maybe they have the contract in the ring. And then Bailey, with like her right arm, has to sign the contract while being put in the bank statement. You know, so that's what I think is going to happen. Something similar to that. So they're going to continue this into next week, uh, two days before Hell in a Cell, and that's going to be that. And then next Sunday, of course, Hell in a Cell. I cannot wait. I know you guys are excited. It's going to be freaking awesome. I think Sasha and Bailey may give us match of the year, at least for the woman. They could give us, they could very well give us match of the year for the entire company, but. You know, it should be the main event. It's deserving of the main event, and I cannot wait. You know, will Sasha finally become Grand Slam Banks? The only way I can see Sasha not winning this match is if, you know, they're trying to go to Sasha win the Royal Rumble route, right? But I don't know. You know, it, like I said, I'm thinking about it. If Sasha wins the title, right, we finally get the start of Sasha's reign, her her long reign, the reign she's been deserving of for such a long time now. We finally get the start of that reign. But I don't want to see her lose the title at WrestleMania to a Bianca Belair. I, w I would at least want to see Sasha get a WrestleMania win under her belt. Like, I, I think Sasha deserves to hold the title for a whole year, Right. We've seen Becky get that. We've seen Bailey get that. It's Sasha's turn, but uh, either way, I don't know. But I'm just excited for the match itself. Sasha versus Bailey next week. Hell in a cell. It's going to be awesome. So let me know in the comment section. What did you guys think of the contract signing? Like, how, how, did you guys like it? I think it should have been a little bit longer, but hey, it did its job. Sasha cuts another great babyface promos he has been great on the mic proving everybody wrong that says sasha cannot cut promos but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the promo what you guys thought of the contract signing and how excited you guys are for sasha and bailey next week hell in a cell all right if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like make sure to comment subscribe if you guys are new to the channel by enabling notifications by kicking the buttocks in my name fitzwang tv so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Like I said, make sure you guys subscribe because next week, Hell in a Cell week, it's going to be crazy, crazy. One of the biggest weeks of the year for the channel and the podcast. So I am very excited for that. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to stay safe and healthy, y'all. Follow me down on social media. Thank everyone who live tweeted with me for SmackDown. I'll see you guys later. Peace.